you may have just viewed the other video on supply and demand in markets where we went into demand uh, shifts and supply shifts in this uh, graph. Uh, today we're going to look at uh, surplus and shortages in markets and how they are created by the various players. Uh, we're looking at this graph right now. This is your typical supply and demand graph. You've got your demand curve sloping down. Uh, as the price decreases, um, consumers are willing to buy more of something, hence the quantity increases. From a supplier's perspective, as the price increases, a supplier is willing to supply more, hence the upward sloping line and a greater quantity of goods and, produced, goods and services produced in this particular market. But what would happen if we decided to set that price? outside of this market equilibrium which is right here where they join. This is the natural price level of this market. If we decide that we're going to go P2 up here and set the price, you may decide that this is what you need to charge to make a living. It may be a market where the government is setting the price. It could be other reasons that, uh, that you set that particular price. What you will get in this particular area here is what you call a surplus, meaning that there's a stalemate existing between the consumers and the suppliers. You end up with a surplus of goods and services. Now you've seen this in warehouses stocked full of product they simply can't sell because the product is too expensive. Eventually what will happen is the suppliers will move their prices down to match what the consumers are demanding and the, the market will once again be in equilibrium. But what happens if you price your goods and services too low? This could happen for various reasons too. The consumers are willing to pay a lot more than the supplier actually wants for their goods and services. Interesting. But what is happening here is that you have got a shortage in the market. This market will eventually correct itself as the supplier realises that the consumers are willing to pay a lot more. He will increase his prices to match the, match the market equilibrium here at P1 and the market once again will be in equilibrium. So regardless of where these prices are set in a free market economy there will be surpluses and shortages that will quickly correct itself. In a market where prices are set, either by the government or by the supplier, but just not moving, then you will get a stalemate. You will either have a surplus of goods and services, or you will have a shortage of goods and services in any given market. I'm Andrew White, and trust you've enjoyed this presentation. Good luck with your studies and your business ventures.